Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest of the world's oceanic divisions, covering 70 million, 560,000 km to 27 million, 240,000 sq mi or 19.8% of the water on Earth's surface. It is bounded by Asia to the north, Africa to the west, and Australia to the east. To the south it is bounded by the Southern Ocean, or Antarctica, depending on the definition in use. Along its core, the Indian Ocean has some large marginal or regional seas such as the Arabian Sea, the Lakative Sea, the Somali Sea, Bay of Bengal, and the Andaman Sea. Etymology The Indian Ocean has been known by its present name since at least 1515, when the Latin form Oceanus Orientalis Indicus Indian Eastern Ocean is attested, named for India, which projects into it. It was earlier known as the Eastern Ocean, a term that was still in use during the mid-18th century sea map, as opposed to the Western Ocean, Atlantic before the Pacific was surmised. Conversely, Chinese explorers in the Indian Ocean during the 15th century called it the Western Oceans. The ocean has also been known as the Hind Mahasagar and Indic Ocean in various languages. In ancient Greek geography, the Indian Ocean region known to the Greeks was called the Erythrean Sea. Geography, geography, geography. Extent and data. The borders of the Indian Ocean, as delineated by the International Hydrographic Organization in 1953, included the Southern Ocean, but not the marginal seas along the Northern Rim. But in 2000, the IHO delimited the Southern Ocean separately, which removed waters south of six S from the Indian Ocean, but included the Northern Marginal Seas. Meridionally, the Indian Ocean is delimited from the Atlantic Ocean by the Twentidic East Meridian, running south from Cape Avalhez, and from the Pacific Ocean by the Meridian of 146-49, running south from the southernmost point of Tasmania. The northernmost extent of the Indian Ocean, including marginal seas, is approximately Thertidic North in the Persian Gulf. The Indian Ocean covers 70 million, 560,000 km to 27 million, 240,000 sq mi, including the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf, but excluding the Southern Ocean, or 19.5% of the world's oceans. Its volume is 264 million km, 363 million ku mi, or 19.8. All of the Indian Ocean is in the Eastern Hemisphere and the center of the Eastern Hemisphere. The 90th meridian east passes through the 90 east ridge. Coasts and shelves. In contrast to the Atlantic and Pacific, the Indian Ocean is enclosed by major land masses and an archipelago on three sides and does not stretch from pole to pole and can be likened to an invade ocean. It is centered on the Indian Peninsula. Although this subcontinent has played a significant role in its history, the Indian Ocean has foremostly been a cosmopolitan stage, interlinking diverse regions by innovations, trade, and religion since early in human history. The active margins of the Indian Ocean have an average depth land to shelf break of 19 plus 0.61, km 11.81 plus 0.38 mi with a maximum depth of 175. The passive margins have an average depth of 47, 0.6 plus 0.8 km 29.58 plus 0.50 mi. The average width of the slopes of the continental shelves are 50.4, 52.4 km 31.3, 32.6 mi for active and passive margins respectively, with a maximum depth of 205.3, 255.2 km 127.6, 158.6 mi. In correspondence of the shelf break, also known as hinge zone, the Bauger gravity ranges from 0 to 30 m gals that is unusual for a continental region of around 16 km thick sediments. It has been hypothesized that the hinge zone may represent the relict of continental and proto-oceanic crustal boundary formed during the rifting of India from Antarctica, Australia, Indonesia, and India are the three countries with the longest shorelines and exclusive economic zones.
The continental shelf makes up 15% of the Indian Ocean. More than 2 billion people live in countries bordering the Indian Ocean, compared to 1.7 billion for the Atlantic and 2.7 billion for the Pacific. Some countries border more than one ocean. Rivers The Indian Ocean drainage basin covers 21 million. 100,000 km to 8 million 100,000 SQMI virtually identical to that of the Pacific Ocean and half that of the Atlantic Basin, or 30% of its ocean surface compared to 15% for the Pacific. The Indian Ocean drainage basin is divided into roughly 800 individual basins, half that of the Pacific, of which 50% are located in Asia, 30% in Africa, and 20% in Australasia. The rivers of the Indian Ocean are shorter, on average 740 km 460 mi than those of the other major oceans. The largest rivers are Order 5, the Zambezi, Ganges, Brahmaputra, Indus, Juba, and Murray rivers, and Order 4, the Shat al Arab, Wadi, and Dawasir, a dried out river system on the Arabian Peninsula, and Limpopo rivers. After the breakup of East Gondwana, and the formation of Himalayas, the Ganges Brahmaputra rivers flowed into the world's largest Bengal Delta. Marginal Seas Marginal Seas, gulfs, bays, and straits of the Indian Ocean include, along the east coast of Africa, the Mozambique Channel separates Madagascar from mainland Africa, while the Sea of Zanj is located north of Madagascar. On the northern coast of the Arabian Sea, Gulf of Aden is connected to the Red Sea by the Strait of Bab el Mandeb. In the Gulf of Aden, the Gulf of Tajura is located in Djibouti, and the Gardafui Channel separates Socotra Island from the Horn of Africa. The northern end of the Red Sea terminates in the Gulf of Aqaba and Gulf of Suez. The Indian Ocean is artificially connected to the Mediterranean Sea without ship lock through the Suez Canal, which is accessible via the Red Sea. The Arabian Sea is connected to the Persian Gulf by the Gulf of Oman and the Strait of Hormuz. In the Persian Gulf, the Gulf of Bahrain separates Qatar from the Arabic Peninsula. Along the west coast of India, the Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Combat are located in Gujarat in the northern end, while the Lakhadiv Sea separates the Maldives from the southern tip of India. The Bay of Bengal is off the east coast of India. The Gulf of Manor and the Palk Strait separates Sri Lanka from India, while the Adams Bridge separates the two. The Andaman Sea is located between the Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Islands. In Indonesia, the so-called Indonesian Seaway is composed of the Malacca, Sunda and Taurus Straits. The Gulf of Carpentaria is located on the Australian north coast, while the Great Australian Bight constitutes a large part of its southern coast. Climate. Several features make the Indian Ocean unique. It constitutes the core of the large-scale tropical warm pool which, when interacting with the atmosphere, affects the climate both regionally and globally. Asia blocks heat export and prevents the ventilation of the Indian Ocean thermocline. That continent also drives the Indian Ocean monsoon, the strongest on Earth, which causes large-scale seasonal variations in ocean currents including the reversal of the Somali current and Indian monsoon current. Because of the Indian Ocean Walker circulation, there are no continuous equatorial easterlies. Upwelling occurs near the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. The Indonesian through-flow is a unique equatorial connection to the Pacific. The climate north of the equator is affected by a monsoon climate. Strong northeast winds blow from October until April from May, until October south and west winds prevail. In the Arabian Sea, the violent monsoon brings rain to the Indian subcontinent. In the southern hemisphere, the winds are generally milder, but summer storms near Mauritius can be severe. When the monsoon winds change, cyclones sometimes strike the shores of the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Some 80% of the total annual rainfall in India occurs during summer and the region is so dependent on this rainfall that many civilizations perished when the monsoon failed in the past. 
The huge variability in the Indian summer monsoon has also occurred prehistorically, with a strong wet phase 33,532,500 BC week, dry phase 26,023,500 BC, and a very weak phase 17,000-15,000 BP, corresponding to a series of dramatic global events, Baling Alarod, Hainrich, and Younger Dryas. The Indian Ocean is the warmest ocean in the world. Long-term ocean temperature records show a rapid, continuous warming in the Indian Ocean at about 1.2 deg C 34.2 deg F compared to 0.7 deg C 33.3 deg F for the warm pool region during 1901-2012. Research indicates that human-induced greenhouse warming and changes in the frequency and magnitude of El Nino or the Indian Ocean Dipole events are a trigger to this strong warming in the Indian Ocean. South of the equator 20 minus 5 deg S, the Indian Ocean is gaining heat from June to October during the austral winter, while it is losing heat from November to March during the austral summer. In 1999, the Indian Ocean experiment showed that fossil fuel and biomass burning in South and Southeast Asia caused air pollution also known as the Asian brown cloud that reaches as far as the intertropical convergence zone at 6 Didig S. This pollution has implications on both a local and global scale. Oceanography 40% of the sediment of the Indian Ocean is found in the Indus and Ganges fans. The oceanic basins adjacent to the continental slopes mostly contain pterogenous sediments. The ocean south of the polar front, roughly 50 degrees south latitude, is high in biologic productivity and dominated by non-stratified sediment, composed mostly of siliceous oozes. Near the three major mid-ocean ridges, the ocean floor is relatively young and therefore bare of sediment, except for the southwest Indian ridge due to its ultra-slow spreading rate. The ocean's currents are mainly controlled by the monsoon. Two large gyres, one in the northern hemisphere flowing clockwise and one south of the equator moving anticlockwise including the Agalhas current and Agalhas return current constitute the dominant flow pattern. During the winter monsoon November-February, however, circulation is reversed north of Thertidig S and winds are weakened during winter and the transitional periods between the monsoons. The Indian Ocean contains the largest submarine fans of the world the Bengal fan and Indus fan, and the largest areas of slope terraces and rift valleys. The inflow of deep water into the Indian Ocean is 11 sb, most of which comes from the circumpolar deep water CDW. The CDW enters the Indian Ocean through the Croset and Madagascar basins and crosses the southwest Indian ridge at Thertidig S. In the Mascairn Basin, the CDW becomes a deep western boundary current before it is met by a recirculated branch of itself, the North Indian Deep Water. This mixed water partly flows north into the Somali Basin whilst most of it flows clockwise in the Mascairn Basin, where an oscillating flow is produced by Rossby waves. Water circulation in the Indian Ocean is dominated by the subtropical anticyclonic gyre, Madagascar and the southwest Indian ridge separate three cells south of Madagascar and off South Africa. North Atlantic deep water reaches into the Indian Ocean south of Africa at a depth of 2,000, 3,000 and 6,000, 600, 9,000, 800 ft and flows north along the eastern continental slope of Africa. Deeper than Nadwa, Antarctic bottom water flows from Enderby Basin, to Agalhas Basin across deep channels, 4,000 and 13,000 ft in the southwest Indian Ridge, from where it continues into the Mozambique Channel and Prince Edward Fracture Zone. North of Twentidig South Latitude, the minimum surface temperature is 22 deg C 72 deg F, exceeding 28 deg C 82 deg F to the east. Southward of Fortidig South Latitude, temperatures drop quickly. The Bay of Bengal contributes more than half 29.50 km3 or 710 kumai of the runoff water to the Indian Ocean. Mainly in summer, this runoff flows into the Arabian Sea, but also south across the equator where it mixes with fresher seawater from the Indonesian through flow. 
This mixed freshwater joins the South Equatorial Current in the southern tropical Indian Ocean. Sea surface salinity is highest more than 36 psu in the Arabian Sea because evaporation exceeds precipitation there. In the Southeast Arabian Sea salinity drops to less than 34 psu. It is the lowest sea, 33 psu in the Bay of Bengal because of river runoff and precipitation. The Indonesian through flow and precipitation results in lower salinity 34 psu along the Sumatran west coast. Mensunal variation results in eastward transportation of saltier water from the Arabian Sea to the Bay of Bengal from June to September, and in westerly transport. An Indian Ocean garbage patch was discovered in 2010 covering at least 5 million square kilometers 1.9 million square miles. Riding the southern Indian Ocean gyre, this vortex of plastic garbage constantly circulates the ocean from Australia to Africa, down the Mozambique Channel and back to Australia in a period of six years, except for debris that gets indefinitely stuck in the center of the gyre. The garbage patch in the Indian Ocean will, according to a 2012 study, decrease in size after several decades to vanish completely over centuries. Over several millennia, however, the global system of garbage patches will accumulate in the North Pacific. There are two amphidromes of opposite rotation in the Indian Ocean, probably caused by Rossby wave propagation. Icebergs drift as far north as 55 deg south latitude, similar to the Pacific but less than in the Atlantic where icebergs reach up to 45 deg s. The volume of iceberg loss in the Indian Ocean between 2004 and 2012 was 24 gt. Since the 1960s, anthropogenic warming of the global ocean combined with contributions of freshwater from retreating land ice causes a global rise in sea level. Sea level increases in the Indian Ocean too, except in the South Tropical Indian Ocean where it decreases, a pattern most likely caused by rising levels of greenhouse gases. Marine life Biodiversity Geology, Geology as the youngest of the major oceans, the Indian Ocean has active spreading ridges that are part of the worldwide system of mid-ocean ridges. In the Indian Ocean, these spreading ridges meet at the Rodriguez Triple Point, with the central Indian ridge, including the Carlsberg Ridge, separating the African Plate from the Indian Plate, the Southwest Indian Ridge separating the African Plate from the Antarctic Plate and the Southeast Indian Ridge separating the Australian Plate from the Antarctic Plate. The Central Indian Ridge is intercepted by the Owen Fracture Zone. Since the late 1990s, however, it has become clear that this traditional definition of the Indo-Australian Plate cannot be correct. It consists of three plates, the Indian Plate, the Capricorn Plate, and Australian Plate separated by diffuse boundary zones. Since 20 Ma, the African Plate is being divided by the East African Rift System into the Nubian and Somalia Plates. There are only two trenches in the Indian Ocean, the 6,000 km 3,700 mi long Java Trench between Java and the Sunda Trench and the 900 km 560 mi long Makran Trench south of Iran and Pakistan. A series of ridges and seamount chains produced by hotspots pass over the Indian Ocean. The Reunion hotspot active 70-40 million years ago connects Reunion and the Mascaran Plateau to the Chagos Lakative Ridge and the Deccan Traps in northwestern India. The Kerguelen hotspot 135 million years ago connects the Kerguelen Islands and Kerguelen Plateau to the 90 East Ridge and the Rajmahal Traps in northeastern India. These hotspot tracks have been broken by the still active spreading ridges mentioned above. There are fewer seamounts in the Indian Ocean than in the Atlantic and Pacific. These are typically deeper than 3,000 and 9,800 ft and located north of 55 deg s and west of 8 deg e. Most originated at spreading ridges but some are now located in basins far away from these ridges. The ridges of the Indian Ocean form ranges of seamounts, sometimes very long, including the Carlsberg Ridge, Madagascar Ridge, Central Indian Ridge, Southwest Indian Ridge, Chagos Lakative Ridge, 85 Deg E Ridge, 9 Tidig E Ridge, Southeast Indian Ridge, Broken Ridge, 
and East Indiaman Ridge. The Agalhas Plateau and Mascarene Plateau are the two major shallow areas. The opening of the Indian Ocean began c. 156 mile when Africa separated from East Gondwana. The Indian subcontinent began to separate from Australia, Antarctica 135-125 mile, and as the Tethys Ocean north of India began to close 118-84 mile the Indian Ocean. History the Indian Ocean, together with the Mediterranean, has connected people since ancient times, whereas the Atlantic and Pacific have had the roles of barriers or mare incognitum. The written history of the Indian Ocean, however, has been Eurocentric and largely dependent on the availability of written sources from the colonial era. This history is often divided into an ancient period followed by an Islamic period, the subsequent periods are often subdivided into Portuguese, Dutch, and British periods. A concept of an Indian Ocean world IOW similar to that of the Atlantic world exists but emerged much more recently and is not well established. The IOW is nevertheless sometimes referred to as the first global economy and was based on the monsoon which linked Asia, China, India, and Mesopotamia. It developed independently from the European global trade in the Mediterranean and Atlantic and remained largely independent from them until European 19th century colonial dominance. The diverse history of the Indian Ocean is a unique mix of cultures, ethnic groups, natural resources, and shipping routes. It grew in importance beginning in the 1960s and 1970s and, after the Cold War, it has undergone periods of political instability most recently with the emergence of India and China as regional powers. First settlements, 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 Pleistocene fossils of Homo erectus and other pre-H. Sapiens hominid fossils, similar to H. Hedelvergensis in Europe have been found in India. According to the Toba catastrophe theory, a supereruption C. 74,000 years ago at Lake Toba, Sumatra covered India with volcanic ashes and wiped out one or more lineages of such archaic humans in India and Southeast Asia. The Out of Africa theory states that Homo sapiens spread from Africa into mainland Eurasia. The more recent southern dispersal or coastal hypothesis instead advocates that modern humans spread along the coasts of the Arabic Peninsula and southern Asia. This hypothesis is supported by mtDNA research which reveals a rapid dispersal event during the late Pleistocene 11,000 years ago. This coastal dispersal, however, began in East Africa 75,000 years ago and occurred intermittently from estuary to estuary. It eventually resulted in modern humans migrating from Sunda over Wallacea to Savo Southeast Asia to Australia. Since then, waves of migration have resettled people and, clearly, the Indian Ocean littoral had been inhabited long before the first civilizations emerged. 5,000-6,000 years ago, six distinct cultural centers had evolved around the Indian Ocean, East Africa, the Middle East, the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, the Malay world, and Australia, each interlinked to its neighbors. Food globalization began on the Indian Ocean littoral sea. 4.0 years ago. Five African crops, sorghum, pearl millet, finger millet, cowpea, and hyacinth beans somehow found their way to Gujarat in India during the late Harappan 2700 BCE. 1700 BCE. Gujarati merchants evolved into the first explorers of the Indian Ocean as they traded African goods such as ivory, tortoise shells, and slaves. Broom corn millet found its way from Central Asia to Africa, together with chicken and zebu cattle, although the exact timing is disputed. Around 2000 BC, black pepper and sesame, both native to Asia. Around the same time, the black rat and the house mouse emigrate from Asia to Egypt. Banana reached Africa around 3,000 years ago. At least 11 prehistoric tsunamis have struck the Indian Ocean coast of Indonesia between 7,400 and 2,900 years ago. Analyzing sand beds in caves in the Assay region, 
scientists concluded that the intervals between these tsunamis have varied from series of minor tsunamis over a century to dormant periods of more than 2,000 years preceding megathrusts in the Sunda Trench. Although the risk for future tsunamis is high, a major megathrust such as the one in 2004 is likely to be followed by a long dormant period. A group of scientists have argued that two large-scale impact events have occurred in the Indian Ocean, the Burkle Crater in the southern Indian Ocean in 2800 BCE, and the Canmare and Tabin Craters in the Gulf of Carpentaria in northern Australia in 536 C. Evidences for these impacts, the team argue, are micro-ejecta and chevron dunes in southern Madagascar and in the Australian Gulf. Geological evidences suggest that tsunamis caused by these impacts reached 205 M673 FD above sea level and 45 km28 my inland. The impact events must have disrupted human settlements and perhaps even contributed to major climate changes. Antiquity The history of the Indian Ocean is marked by maritime trade, Cultural and commercial exchange probably date back at least 7,000 years. Human culture spread early on the shores of the Indian Ocean and was always linked to the cultures of the Mediterranean and the Persian Gulf. Before c. 2000 BC, however, cultures on its shores were only loosely tied to each other. Bronze, for example, was developed in Mesopotamia c. 3000 BC but remained uncommon in Egypt before 1800 BCE. BC. During this period, independent, short-distance overseas communications along its littoral margins evolved into an all-embracing network. The debut of this network was not the achievement of a centralized or advanced civilization, but of local and regional exchange in the Persian Gulf, the Red Sea, and the Arabian Sea. Sherds of Ubay 2500-500 BCE Pottery have been found in the western Gulf at Dilmun, present-day Bahrain, traces of exchange between this trading center and Mesopotamia. The Sumerians traded grain, pottery, and bitumen used for reed boats for copper, stone, timber, tin, dates, onions, and pearls. Coast-bound vessels transported goods between the Indus Valley Civilization 2600-1900 BCE in the Indian subcontinent modern-day Pakistan and northwest India and the Persian Gulf and Egypt. The Red Sea, one of the main trade routes in antiquity, was explored by Egyptians and Phoenicians during the last two millennia BCE. In the 6th century BCE, Greek explorer Silax of Carianda made a journey to India, working for the Persian king Darius, and his now lost account put the Indian Ocean on the maps of Greek geographers. The Greeks began to explore the Indian Ocean following the conquests of Alexander the Great, who ordered a circumnavigation of the Arabian Peninsula in 323 BC. During the two centuries that followed the reports of the explorers of Ptolemaic Egypt resulted in the best maps of the region until the Portuguese era many centuries later. The main interest in the region for the Ptolemies was not commercial but military. They explored Africa to hunt for war elephants. The Rub al Khali Desert isolates the southern parts of the Arabic Peninsula and the Indian Ocean from the Arabic world. This encouraged the development of maritime trade in the region linking the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf to East Africa and India. The monsoon from Mossam, the Arabic word for season, however, was used by sailors long before being discovered by Hippalus in the first century. Indian would have been found in Sumerian cities. There is evidence of Akkad coastal trade in the region, and contacts between India and the Red Sea dates back to 2300 BC. The archipelagos of the central Indian Ocean, the Lakative and Maldive Islands, were probably populated during the second century BC, from the Indian mainland. They appear in written history in the account of merchant Suleiman al Tajir in the 9th century, but the treacherous reefs of the islands were most likely cursed by the sailors of Aden long before the islands were even settled. Periplus of the Erythrean Sea, an Alexandrian guide to the world beyond the Red Sea, including Africa and India from the 1st century CE, not only gives insights into trade in the region, but also shows that Roman and Greek sailors 
had already gained knowledge about the monsoon winds. The contemporaneous settlement of Madagascar by Austronesian sailors shows that the littoral margins of the Indian Ocean were being both well populated and regularly traversed at least by this time. Albeit the monsoon must have been common knowledge in the Indian Ocean for centuries. The Indian Ocean's relatively calmer waters opened the areas bordering it to trade earlier than the Atlantic or Pacific Oceans. The powerful monsoons also meant ships could easily sail west early in the season, then wait a few months and return eastwards. This allowed ancient Indonesian peoples to cross the Indian Ocean to settle in Madagascar around 1 CE in the 2nd or 1st century BCE, Eudoxus of Syzicus was the first Greek to cross the Indian Ocean. The probably fictitious sailor Hippalus is said to have learnt the direct route from Arabia to India around this time. During the 1st and 2nd centuries AD, intensive trade relations developed between Roman Egypt and the Tamil kingdoms of the Cheras, Cholas and Pandyas in southern India. Like the Indonesian people above, the western sailors used the monsoon to cross the ocean. The unknown author of the Periplus of the Erythrean Sea describes this route, as well as the commodities that were traded along various commercial ports on the coasts of the Horn of Africa and India Circle 1 Sea. Among these trading settlements were Mosulon and Arpon on the Red Sea littoral. Age of Discovery Unlike the Pacific Ocean where the civilization of the Polynesians reached most of the far-flung islands and atolls and populated them, Almost all the islands, archipelagos, and atolls of the Indian Ocean were uninhabited until colonial times. Although there were numerous ancient civilizations in the coastal states of Asia and parts of Africa, the Maldives were the only island group in the central Indian Ocean region where an ancient civilization flourished. Maldivians, on their annual trade trip, took their Osangoing trade ships to Sri Lanka rather than mainland India, which is much closer because their ships were dependent of the Indian monsoon current. Arabic missionaries and merchants began to spread Islam along the western shores of the Indian Ocean from the 8th century, if not earlier. A Swahili stone mosque dating to the 8th-15th centuries has been found in Shanga, Kenya. Trade across the Indian Ocean gradually introduced Arabic script and rice as a staple in eastern Africa. Muslim merchants traded an estimated 1,000 African slaves annually between 800 and 1,700, a number that grew to c. 4,000 during the 18th century and 3,700 during the period 1800-1870. Slave trade also occurred in the eastern Indian Ocean before the Dutch settled there around 1600, but the volume of this trade is unknown. From 1405 to 1433, Admiral Xing, he said to have led large fleets of the Ming Dynasty on several treasure voyages through the Indian Ocean, ultimately reaching the coastal countries of East Africa. The Portuguese navigator Vasco da Gama rounded the Cape of Good Hope during his first voyage in 1497 and became the first European to sail to India. The Swahili people, he encountered along the African East Coast lived in a series of cities and had established trade routes to India and to China. Among them, the Portuguese kidnapped most of their pilots in coastal raids and onboard ships. A few of the pilots, however, were gifts by local Swahili rulers, including the sailor from Gujarat, a gift by a Malindi ruler in Kenya who helped the Portuguese to reach India. In expeditions after 1500, the Portuguese attacked and colonized cities along the African coast. European slave trade in the Indian Ocean began when Portugal established Estado da India in the early 16th century. From then until the 1830s, c. 200 slaves were exported from Mozambique annually, and similar figures has been estimated for slaves brought from Asia to the Philippines during the Iberian Union 1580-1640. The Ottoman Empire began its expansion into the Indian Ocean in 1517 with the conquest of Egypt under Sultan Selim I, although the Ottomans shared the same religion as the trading communities in the Indian Ocean the region was unexplored by them. Maps that included the Indian Ocean had been produced by Muslim geographers centuries before the Ottoman conquests. Muslim scholars, 
such as Ibn Battuta in the 14th century, had visited most parts of the known world, contemporarily with Vasco da Gama, Arab navigator Ahmed Ibn Majid had compiled a guide to navigation in the Indian Ocean. The, the establishment of the Dutch East India Company in the early 17th century led to a quick increase in the volume of the slave trade in the region. There were perhaps up to 500,000 slaves in various Dutch colonies during the 17th and 18th centuries in the Indian Ocean. For example, some 4,000 African slaves were used to build the Colombo Fortress in Dutch Ceylon. Folly and neighboring islands supplied regional networks with c. 100,000-150,000 slaves 1620-1830. Indian and Chinese slave traders supplied Dutch Indonesia with perhaps 250,000 slaves during the 17th and 18th centuries. The East India Company, EIC, was established during the same period, and in 1622, one of its ships carried slaves from the Coromandel coast to Dutch East Indies. The EIC mostly traded in African slaves, but also some Asian slaves purchased from Indian, Indonesian, and Chinese slave traders. The French established colonies on the islands of Reunion and Mauritius in 1721. By 1735, some 7,000 200 slaves populated the Mascarene Islands, a number which had reached 133,000 in 1807. The British captured the islands in 1810, however, and because the British had prohibited the slave trade in 1807, a system of clandestine slave trade developed to bring slaves to French planters on the islands. In all, 336 1,388,000 slaves were exported to the Mascarene Islands from 1670 until, in all, European traders exported 567,900,733,200 ,900, slaves within the Indian Ocean between 1500 and 1850, and almost that same amount were exported from the Indian Ocean to the Americas during the same period. Slave trade in the Indian Ocean was, nevertheless, very limited compared to sea. Twelve million slaves exported across the Atlantic. Modern Era Scientifically, the Indian Ocean remained poorly explored before the International Indian Ocean Expedition. However, the Challenger Expedition 1872-1876 only reported from south of the polar front. The Valdivia Expedition 1898-1899 made deep samples in the Indian Ocean. In the 1930s, the John Murray Expedition mainly studied shallow water habitats. The Swedish Deep Sea Expedition 1947-1948 also sampled the Indian Ocean on its global tour, and the Danish Galathea sampled deep water fauna from Sri Lanka to South Africa on its second exp. Uh, the Soviet research vessel Vitez also did research in the Indian Ocean. The Suez Canal opened in 1869 when the Industrial Revolution dramatically changed global shipping. The sailing ship declined in importance, as did the importance of European trade in favor of trade in East Asia and Austria. The construction of the canal introduced many non-indigenous species into the Mediterranean. For example, the gold band goldfish Apennius molluxensis has replaced the red mullet Mullus barbatus. Since the 1980s, huge swarms of Cyphozone jellyfish Rapalma nomadica have affected tourism and fisheries along the Levantian coast and clogged power and desalination plants. Plans announced in 2014 to build a new, much larger Suez Canal parallel to the 19th century canal will most likely boost the economy in the region but also cause ecological damage in a much wider area. Throughout the colonial era, islands such as Mauritius were important shipping nodes for the Dutch, French, and British. Mauritius, an inhabited island, became populated by slaves from Africa and indenture labor from India. The end of World War Roman II marked the end of the colonial era. The British left Mauritius in 1974, and with 70% of the population of Indian descent, Mauritius became a close ally of India. In the 1980s, during the Cold War, 
the South African regime acted to destabilize several island nations in the Indian Ocean, including the Seychelles, Comoros, and Madagascar. India intervened in Mauritius to prevent a coup d'etat, backed up by the United States who feared the Soviet Union could gain access to Port Louis and threaten the U.S. base on Diego Garcia. Iran Rudd is an unrealized plan by Iran and the Soviet Union to build a canal between the Caspian Sea and the Persian Gulf. Testimonies from the colonial era are stories of African slaves, Indian indentured laborers, and white settlers. But, while there was a clear racial line between free men and slaves in the Atlantic world, this delineation is less distinct in the Indian Ocean, there were Indian slaves and settlers as well as black indentured laborers. There were also a string of prison camps across the Indian Ocean, from Robben Island in South Africa to cellular jail in the Andamans, in which prisoners, exiles, POWs, forced laborers, merchants, and people of different faiths were forcefully united. On the islands of the Indian Ocean, therefore, a trend of creolization emerged. On 26 December 2004, 14 countries around the Indian Ocean were hit by a wave of tsunamis caused by the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. The waves radiated across the ocean at speeds exceeding 500 km h 310 mph, reached up to 20 m 66 ft in height, and resulted in an estimated 236,000 deaths. In the late 2000s, the ocean evolved into a hub of pirate activity. By 2013, attacks off the Horn region's coast had steadily declined due to active private security and international Navy patrols, especially by the Indian Navy. Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, a Boeing 777 airliner with 239 persons on board, disappeared on 8 March 2014 and is alleged to have crashed into the southern Indian Ocean about 2,500 km 1,600 mi from the coast of southwest western Australia. Despite an extensive search, the whereabouts of the remains of the aircraft is unknown. The Sentinelese people of North Sentinel Island, which lies near South Andaman Island in the Bay of Bengal, have been called by experts the most isolated people in the world. The sovereignty of the Chagos Archipelago in the Indian Ocean is disputed between the United Kingdom and Mauritius. In February 2019, the International Court of Justice in The Hague issued an advisory opinion stating that the UK must transfer the Chagos Archipelago to Mauritius. Trade The sea lanes in the Indian Ocean are considered among the most strategically important in the world, with more than 80% of the world. Seaborne trade in oil transits through the Indian Ocean and its vital choke points, with 40% passing through the Strait of Hormuz, 35% through the Strait of Malacca, and 8% through the Bab el Mandeb. The Indian Ocean provides major sea routes connecting the Middle East, Africa, and East Asia with Europe and the Americas. It carries a particularly heavy traffic of petroleum and petroleum products from the oil fields of the Persian Gulf and Indonesia. Large reserves of hydrocarbons are being tapped in the offshore areas of Saudi Arabia, Iran, India, and Western Australia. An estimated 40% of the world's offshore oil production comes from the Indian Ocean. Beach sands rich in heavy minerals and offshore placer deposits are actively exploited by bordering countries, particularly India, Pakistan, South Africa, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, and Thailand. In particular, the maritime part of the Silk Road leads through the Indian Ocean on which a large part of the global container trade is carried out. The Silk Road runs with its connections from the Chinese coast and its large container ports to the south via Hanoi, the Silk Road has become internationally important again on the one hand through European integration, the end of the Cold War and free world trade, and on the other hand through Chinese initiatives. Chinese companies have made investments in several Indian Ocean ports, including Gwadar, Hambantota, Colombo, and Sanadia. This has sparked a debate about the strategic implications of these investments. There are also Chinese investments and related efforts to intensify trade in East Africa 
and in European ports such as Piraeus and Trieste.